one second because I want to pull up this message because it's pretty awesome. Where are you message? There it is. There's that message. Callie already shipped it. Thanks, Callie. But listen, I'm not the type of person who's usually petty, but I wanted to show this because it's hilarious to me. And I love when this happens. Um, this guy was going back and forth with me on a t-shirt making lowball offers on it. And the last message he sent to me was, you're never gonna get that, good luck. This one sold in much cleaner condition in a bigger size on Instagram live auctions for $400, right? The next day, I got an offer for that shirt for $750. So, sold, don't be annoying. <laughs> um, also, I'm, I have a buyer, a cool buyer in Thailand on the hook right now for these two mask t-shirts. This one and this one, we've settled on uh, $3,200 for the two of them shipped to Thailand uh, priority. Um, and I looked up shipping already, it's gonna be around 60 bucks to ship it. He just wants a dry rot test on video. Um, so I figured that I can show you how to dry rot test these t-shirts really quick. The easiest way to do it is um, you wanna you want to do it in a couple places first. So you wanna go under the hem of the bottom of the shirt. So you flip it over like that. So you pinch it hard between your fingers and you just kinda pull up as hard as you can without, you know, obviously. But that's, it'll rip pretty easily if you do that. So, and then that doesn't ruin the shirt, you know? And then under the sleeve here, this part as well, again, flip it over to the hem give it a pinch in between your fingers and just kind of like do that. See, that's how you dry rot test it. So this is what will happen if a shirt is dry rot. Again, go under the hem, separate the fabric and just give it a little tug and it kind of just rips. Where's my good girls, huh? That's a good Westie over there and that's a good bow dog right there. Hey, listen, we're gonna go to the thrift store really quick, but you guys stay here. Play with this ball. We decided to take a quick break from the day, the daily day, and uh, we're gonna go to Goodwill and Salvation Army. Procrastinating laundry. Yeah, we don't wanna, uh, we don't wanna do adult things. So we're like, let's go cheat on our day. <laughs> cheat on today. <laughs> that is cool. All beaded. Try it on, see if it fits. Go try it on. How much is it? $10? Six dollars. Six dollars. The cheapest I've ever seen one at a Goodwill. Try it on. Oh wow. It's not like figure flattering on me. I know there's a lot of beads that are missing. It does fit. It does fit. I don't know if it's the best one though. No. I think I'll pass on it. <laughs> so all I was really able to find, I found these new with tag Skechers uh, sandals. They're like vegan sandals. Fifteen dollars, but then I found them on. Um, Shoe Carnival, I think was the website for 35. So not worth it. And then I found this pretty cool London, England. That is cool. Embroidered vintage t-shirt. I like that. $3, it's like dead stock, you know? So I don't know, it's $3. It's realistically probably like a $15 t-shirt. Mm. So, and then I found these two vintage homemade Christmas shirts. You sold those together. Pretty funny. Both extra large. Oh, they're so cute, wow. Yeah, they're funny. They're $4 a piece though. Mm. And again, realistically, probably 20 bucks for the pair, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Not worth it. Not much. Oh, and then I found a bunch of uh, PlayStation PSP games. PlayStation Portable, remember little PlayStation yeah. Portable? But I looked up every one and none of them was more than like $7 and they were between four to six bucks a piece, so. I don't know, nothing at this. Goodwill. It's the way it goes sometimes, yeah. you know? Okay. Let's go run out to Salvation Army. Okay, let's leave. Yeah. Salvation Army family store. There's Alley dancing in front of the store. It's a $3 Robert Graham t-shirt. Yeah. Size 2XL. Yeah. That's about it here, honestly. Okay. It's rough. Yeah. It's rough out here. Dog. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. But, you know, we like to show the reality of thrifting, not just uh, not just sugarcoat things all the time, so yeah. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend. 
Um, well, it's probably not Monday for you guys now, but it's Monday for me. So that's what you get. <laughs> uh, Callie's going to jump over and show you some of our favorite eBay sales from this past weekend. But I just wanted to do a, a, just a little bit of housekeeping really quick. Uh, on the past few videos that we've put out, there's been fake comments from someone or whatever spam company using our picture and putting out a, a phone number. And someone commented and said that there's been a few people that have been like scammed by that. Unfortunately, there's really not a whole lot that we can do about it besides tell you guys about it and then report the comments. So if you ever see a comment that looks like it's from us, but they're asking you to text a phone number or email them or something, we never put our phone number out there. So just know that that's not from us. And then also the only comments that are actually from us, you'll see a little check mark by our name. So please, please, please don't fall for these scammy people out there. Unfortunately, it's just something that we have to deal with on YouTube. Like I said, there's not a lot we can do about it, but if you see those comments, please report them. Yeah, so um, anyway, some decent sales from over the weekend. Callie's gonna show you right now. There's that Callie. Uh, welcome to Rally Roots What Solds. And today, we're gonna show you shoes. Shoes. And things. Um, first up are some Kohan Zero Grand leather white wingtip shoes and they sold for 34 doll hairs and then these are some sketcher memory foam loafer shoe dealy bobs pretty nice those sold for 30 doll hairs these big old justin boots sold for 40 dollars Ooh, this one's good look at this fold Ooh. that i did but time out are you Ooh. ready for it yeah Wham. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. I like the long fold. Yeah, she sold for 120 doll hairs. Nice, that's a cool one too because I think it's 2005. It's not even that old. Vibram, Vibram, however you want to say it. Those sold for 35.97. Cool. First class, so those will be easy to ship. This thingy Allie found at the flea market. Flea market. A long time ago when we were doing the, the challenge. Yeah, we need to go back to that flea market actually. Yeah. This actually sold for $80. Nice. I didn't think it was gonna go for that much because it's not that old. Right. Right? But That's pretty cool. Should be fun to ship. <laughs> yeah, it's a reproduction. Uh, fortunately, it's only going to Tennessee. Oh, so it shouldn't be bad. too expensive. I'm expecting maybe like $15 to $20. It's not to too heavy that. either, so probably around 15 Yeah, we just have to pack it really well because we don't want the plastic to break. Yeah. And then another pair of Justin boots. These sold for $43. Cool. It's Good really brand, cool. Justin. Yeah. This is a William Wegman t-shirt. I love that shirt. It's got a doggy. It's a Weimariner. It's sitting on a box. I like that shirt because Allie's mom uh, always had Weimariner doggos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The cool. cute puppers. And then last from eBay, Hanu. Hanu. Hanu boots. These are pretty little ones. They're also Vibram soles. They sold for a whopping 65 doll hairs. Nice. That's pretty crazy for such a small size. Yeah, sweet. Very good. What happened? Did you sell these bad boys? Yes, those finally sold and the buyer paid. They sold for, together they sold for $3,250. What? Yes, and wow. they are shipping within the U.S. They're shipping to a fulfillment center. They're actually going to Thailand, um, but it was a it was a long deal to make. It took me about a week to close the deal, but I'm happy with that. Three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars for those two. I'd be happy too. <laughs> What's funny is that I actually already spent that money too. Oh no! <laughs> I uh, it was thirty two fifty, and then this weekend someone hit me up with a seventy piece uh, wholesale lot of vintage t shirts. So I bought that lot for three thousand three hundred dollars. But that's how the business works. It's money comes in that we made a little bit of money on, and it goes straight back out to turn that money into more and more money. That's what this reselling business is about. So, yeah. Two shirts into 70 wow. is really what it is. It's funny though, yeah. When we're shipping something like that clock, we make sure to bubble wrap it really well and then also tape it up nicely. Once it's all wrapped, we find a nice sturdy box to put it in and we make sure to pat it and then give it the old shake test so that we know that it's not gonna get damaged during shipment. Then we measure and weigh the box. So the clock all boxed up cost $24.05 to ship. Yep. 
So speaking about scams in this video, uh, there's a couple other common eBay scams that I wanted to address as well. I know a lot of you guys who watch this channel sell on eBay too, and it, um, it makes me really sad when I hear from our audience that someone's been scammed on eBay or someone's lost money on eBay or someone's just been done wrong from a scam on eBay. So there's really, there's really two main ones that I haven't talked about in other videos that I wanna address in this video. The first one is be very, very careful about doing any transactions outside of eBay. So a lot of times, especially with newer sellers a lot of times you'll get a message from a, a potential buyer on eBay that says something to the extent of hey I'm interested in this item text me at this number or email me at this email address or hit me up on Instagram or something like that and we'll we'll do the transaction outside of eBay to avoid the eBay fees for you and I know that that can seem kind of enticing to you know to avoid that 10% eBay fee or that 13% with the you know the payment processing fee but just be aware that typically something like that is going to be a scam and not only that but eBay does monitor those messages and if eBay sees that you are agreeing to do a transaction outside of eBay that is against the terms of use that you sign when you agree to use eBay you sign eBay's terms of use that says that you agreed to only sell directly on their platform and not direct people off of the platform. So not only could that be a scam, but it could also result in your account being flagged or terminated in some cases. So just be very careful about that. And then again, like I said, going outside of eBay could be a scam too. In a lot of cases, what these scammers will do is they'll offer to pay you with an e-check through PayPal, for example. So they'll set, actually send you an e-check that takes could, could take up to two weeks sometimes to clear. And you know they'll ask for you to ship the item and provide tracking and all that stuff. You will ship the item out. It looks like you have the money, especially again, if you're not used to dealing with PayPal, if you're a new seller, it does look like you have the money in your account. And then a couple weeks or a week to two weeks later, that e-check bounces is you're out your money and you're out the item the buyer has the item and they didn't have to pay for it so just be very careful about that that's the uh, the off eBay scam is what I'll call it and then the other big one that a lot of people need to be aware about is it's an email phishing scam so what happens in that case is uh, a, a scammer will get your email address associated with eBay or just your email address in general and you'll get an email that looks like it came from eBay so it'll say you know from eBay at the top it looks like it came from eBay it'll look legit Legit, but it's a scam to get your login information. So it'll say something like, you know, your account's been compromised on eBay, or it'll just be a very generic eBay email saying, hey, can you click on this to verify your account details? You click on the link, it pops up on a website that looks like a legit eBay website, but what it is is a, is a capture form. And when you fill out your information to log into eBay, your account information gets captured, that information is sent to the scammer, now they're able to log into your eBay account, change your details, buy stuff without your permission, in some cases even steal some of the money in managed payments. So the easiest way to avoid that scam, the eBay phishing email scam is if you look at your email address, if you click on the from email. So if you click on that email, it'll drop down and it'll show you exactly the email address that it's from. If it isn't a legit eBay email address, then it's a scam. So typically a legit eBay email address will be something like eBay at eBay.com. If it's not at eBay.com, if it's not coming from eBay.com, then it's not a legit email. And I know that that is a common scam that a lot of people are falling for right now. Again, usually it's new sellers or just people who are not very experienced with selling stuff online in general. So just be aware of that. We don't want you guys to get scammed with either of those two scams. There are other ones that happen out there. there there's other type of scams as well, but those are the main two that I wanted to address in this video. Hopefully that does help a few of you avoid headaches in the future. I just feel like it's, you know, with with the platform that we have, I feel like sometimes it is our obligation to, to make our audience aware of some of these scams that happen out there. And if it helps a few of you out, that's really the goal of you know putting this information out there. So hopefully it does. What up everybody, it's time for some more sales. Here we go. Up first is this pair of Allegria uh, women's nurse shoes, clogs, whatever they're called. These were in perfect condition, almost brand new looking. 
They sold for $50. Then we have these Keen Crush slip-on wool Keen Kush things, shoes that you put your feet in. Some of those, they sold for $36.52. And then, you know, winter is coming, so we got some snow boots. These are sorrel boots with the fur, you know what I'm saying? These are Tivoli 3 boots, whatever that means. Um, bungee cord. $55 hairs for this pair of snow boots with the fur. And then last but not least for today is this Pentax K1035 millimeter film camera with 200 millimeter zoom and 50 millimeter SMC Pentax M lens. Whoa, that sold for $166.50. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Hello, little one. Hello, little one. Oh, she won't come to me because when she's looking at me. Look at that thing. What is it doing? <laughs> <laughs> Our dogs are weird. <laughs> All right, guys and girls. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's vid, Please show your support by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. We love you lots. We have some really cool videos coming up. Uh, we got a cool uh, flea market video coming up. We have a cool auction finds video coming up. So like I said, subscribe if you like reselling videos and we'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>